great answer to that question. Um, so I would like to move next to Ms. Milani Hiru uh, from the Institute of Public Studies of Sri Lanka. Um, I believe that uh, your past work, your research work, um, has included GI in other industries, other sectors, by which is in Sri Lanka as well. Um, and drawing up from your those experiences um, and um, your other work, um, how would you suggest that the competing authorities um, in Sri Lanka related to um, the spice sector should approach to tackling issues that contribute towards um, supply chain volatility, maybe out of uh, the, for example, climate and environmental conditions that are significantly varying right now? Because I believe we've been hearing um, just what we said. We actually also said, so the clove harvest has been zero, and um, even in my work, um, the communities that I work with, what I hear is the pet, the, the yield, the spice yields are significantly dropping uh, due to climate variations, but also there's been uh, the agricultural farming um, uh, practices having slowed to adapt. Um, but also from one of the uh, earlier presentations, something that we heard is the issues surrounding land um, um, in terms of respect in the sector. Um, so drawing on from those experiences uh, you know, that you had, um, what recommendations would you make for, for the spy sector, government authorities um, to take in order to address these kind of challenges, um, but also in specific the contribution of something like um, geographical identification for the sustainable growth um, to the long term viability of the spice sector in Sri Lanka. Thank you, Miguel. I'm really sorry about my voice, but I hope you all can hear it. Uh, throughout this session, uh, we were talking about the importance of increasing quality of, uh, especially the quality of uh, spices in Sri Lanka. Actually, the presentation done by UNIDO, Mr. Sampasena, emphasized that the buyers require high quality products. And as consumers, you and me, we are like, willing to pay higher premium for the quality products that we are consuming. And it has uh, internationally also uh, approved. I mean, uh, some time back, the European Union has conducted a survey among consumers, and they have highlighted that 40% of the consumers are willing to pay 10% higher premium for the quality products that they are consuming. So how can we ensure the consumers that we are giving them a quality product, especially through GI system? Or we call it a GSIM or a GS certificate. So GI connect three P's, not the three P's what Mr. Sahar just mentioned. These three P's place, people, and the product. So the, uh, as Mr. Ranget Guru mentioned, Sri Lanka we have uh, spices which has unique characteristic and uh, physical and organic characters. We have unique products. So these unique products comes in a place where it has a special climatic conditions, soil and other environmental factors, and also the human factor, a support for this product to be unique. So that is the main concept of GI, which connect the three P's, place, people, and the product. So when we are going for GI, we prepare a specification which link to these three P's, and also, not only this uh, GI specification guidelines, but also there will be a control mechanism system built on this uh, GI specification, which gives the uh, consumer the assurance the product that he is consuming gives him the fullest uh, quality, what he is expecting from a unique product. And also, there is a traceability system also built up. So those three factors give the consumer the assurance that he is consuming a quality product. Since uh, we all talk a lot about uh, paper, I will just give you a brief uh, some facts and figures from the Cambodian paper. I'm sure most of you know the Cambodian paper is coming from Cambodia. 
They have received a certificate system in uh, 2010. Before that, they were selling uh, black pepper, one kilo for uh, 4.5 dollars. And once they received a certificate in 2010, in 2018, the price has gone up to 16 USD per kilo. Likewise, so it shows the 160% increase of the final product, and also the Mount pepper, which is the product of Indonesia, it shows that the product final uh, price of the product has gone about 400% uh, after getting the GS certification system. So there are several benefits with the GS certification system. Once we assure our consumers that this product gives them the full uh, assurance that what they are consuming is a unique product. And also, and not only that, with the metal prices uh, increasing, there are several other external which is also coming in. Like people are moving from other products to the uh, listed products, the GI certified product. But there's a mechanism to avoid misuses and fraud. As our uh, director SDF mentioned, there are several Ceylon spices in EU, but who knows whether this is a unique product. Since these days we are working on Ceylon TGI uh, implementation product, you know, Ceylon tea is exporting most, most of the higher percentage goes as bar, and the other countries um, mix it with other origin, but the names goes as Ceylon tea. We are not giving the consumers the high quality product. So the GS certification system ensure that they are getting the high quality products with, when we are giving them the logo. And as a big uh, mass, now the climate is changing. So what will be the impact for the GI system? So as I mentioned, we are preparing a GI specification of the guidelines based on the I mean, involvement with the stakeholders of the each value chain. So they are the ones providing inputs to this, make this guidelines. Not that we are adhering to the foreign guidelines. We are making our own guidelines. So there's a chance to change those guidelines with the approval of the stakeholder because we have GI management committee or me for the Ceylon Cinema, there's a Ceylon Cinema Association. So with the guidelines, they can change whatever the quality parameters uh, with the changes of the environment. So since there are several benefits comes with the GI certification system, there's a high potential for other spices also to get GI certification and get the benefits because it enhances the production and it will open a lot of employment opportunities for the rural area and especially there will be like ecotourism. As you know, now there is, there is a booming industry in ecotourism because the people in the foreign countries would love to come and see how the cinema is growing in Sri Lanka. They would like to come and see what I'm consuming, how it's getting produced, how it is getting processed, and so there will be ecotourism also building in the rural development. So there are a lot of uh, immense benefits along with the GIS system, and um, I think there is so there's so much potential for Sri Lanka to go move move forward with this uh, GI for Sri Lanka spices. Not only for spices, actually GI can be obtained for craft and other gems also. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Um, so moving 